for change was back at it again. This time, they were doing community service at Ashtree Park. I just grew a lot of friends and how it's a great program. And I pretty much wanted to help high school students just like I was helped out in high school. So that's why I joined. You know, I'm from Brockton myself and, you know, I graduated like class of 2010. And um, I realized like a pattern, like a trend, that everyone who graduates and like goes away for college, they never come back to the community where they came from and actually try to, you know, do community service and help it like build. We clean the community, we clean the community of like drugs and violence and everything. But it takes it takes the next generation to do that, you know. We can't depend on like the the past gen past generations to do it because they did their deed already. You know what I'm saying? Like they they need us to step up to the plate. I expected like this far exceeds my expectations of what like I expected this to be. Everyone has stepped up so much and like four hours ago this place was a mess and now we're well on our way to clean it up, well on our way to renovating it and by five o'clock tonight our goal is a safe space where kids can play and where kids can come and you know after school be like hey I want to chill, I want to play basketball, where are we going to go? Let's go to Ash Street, you know, and make this a place where the negative influences don't happen and the positive influences do, just coming here and hanging out, you know? For me, I'm actually happy that we came to this park today because I, like, sort of remember my cousin who's, like, his name is David Dorman, he's, like, uh, going to University of Chicago Law School and he's just doing it big, and he had uh, Little League baseball games over here, and if he didn't have those childhood experiences, maybe he wouldn't be the same person he is today you know maybe he wouldn't be that that guy that's at the top of his game you know and I just feel like it's a great thing like to have a park for us to you know grow. This is actually something that's uh, been run by the Fan for Change program but what's like really incredible about this is that this has been run by the mentees of the program. These mentees are Brockton High School students who since the summer have been planning this in what we call an action project and they've been planning this since the summer doing like going through every stage contacting people solidifying events and dates and everything you see here today, every progress we've made, is because of these like very inspiring like young men. It's really important for the kids, like he said. You know, every kid has to have that single childhood memory. You know, either at the park, either at someone like pushing them on a swing. You know, what I mean, they need to be in that. And for the kids' generations to come on, they need to have that place where they can like you know have a safe zone and actually be feel safe. You know what I mean? And just have fun. This is our community. Bridgewater is just down the street, so we have to make sure that our kids are going to school and then they can end up in the university which is why you know FAM is such a great program because we make sure that these kids try and get into college and we give them that opportunity of getting the scholarship of going to for free to Bridgewater. You can't just really you can talk about change but until you act it until you develop people and help them reach their goals like for the kids they really wanted this to happen they were pushing for this so hard like all we did was we gave them the opportunity and they jumped on it. So they're about to change, and that's it's awesome to see that. So be out here with us, you know, raking and you know, cleaning everything up because you know that's what Brockton needs right now. We can't leave it in ruins. Like like I'm trying to bring it back to the way it was supposed to be. It used to be, you know what I mean? Like it used to be a peaceful city where you could bring your kids, you know, everywhere you want without worrying about any any like deviance, any like bad behavior going on. And you know the kids, they need they need a lane. We have to show them like there's, there's opportunity out there besides what the street offers. You know what I mean? So that's all I gotta say.